Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so today is going to be a little bit different uh, than my normal videos. I actually decided to do an art haul um, or an art supply haul, and in which case I'm going to show you everything that I purchased in the last week. I picked up some supplies for myself and also for a giveaway for my 500 subscribers. Yay, go me. It is taking forever to get you 500 subscribers. <laughs> well, when I get you. But the ones that I have so far, thank you so much for hanging out and commenting and being my good support. Um, you guys are great. So uh, why don't we go ahead and go on to my, I guess, art supply haul. Um, I didn't all just go to the art store. I went somewhere else as well. So um, you'll understand when I pull up my first one. So my first thing that I got today was a tile. You're probably thinking, what? You got a tile? Why did you get a tile? <laughs> um, something that I like to do is I like to do polymer clay. So this would be a really great service to use for my polymer clay. Um, it's ceramic or whatever material it is. Um, it's really smooth. I love the feeling of it. And it would be great for using my polymer clay on. Because um, what I was using before was just paper. And paper can work, but not fully. Because while well, it'll suck out the oil out of your paper, and it will also, um, if you need to get your clay off the paper by using a razor blade, you're also kind of cutting into the paper too. So you're lifting some of the paper fibers into your polymer clay, which is not good. So I finally went out and bought a tile today, and I'm very excited. So this might give me a little in the butt to start doing some more polymer clay and I also um, bought some magnets for my sorry I had to reach down and grab them um, so I got some tiny magnets there are 20 in each case I apologize for the um, blowout of the camera but there's 20 in each of these so I have 40 magnets because I would like to make some polymer clay food magnets for your for fridges and sell those at conventions because one of my goals is to get a convention table so got some magnets too um yeah might as well use this as my surface while I'm talking um I also went and bought some pencil crayons colored pencils pencil crayons I don't know <laughs> potato patata well my, one's an American way of saying pencil crayons or cray cray you know what I mean so I got some of these today. Um, some of these are for me and some of these are going to be for someone that I consider a friend but yeah, we're not acquaintances in the ways that friends are so um, I also got some more pencils some I took out of the uh, little container, some that I didn't. Um, so I got these ones and they're all rainbow colored. So I got every single color of the rainbow and then a few extra ones. These ones are actually gonna be for Bailey J. I'm going to give her um, some pencil crayons. They're uh, Polychromos Faber Castells. Um, some of these are going to go to her as well. I just got to figure out which colors aren't in here. And then the ones that I got here are the ones that I want for mine um, so yeah this is gonna be for her mailbox mailbox box opening PO, bo PO box um, so she mentioned about wanting to try Faber Castells but she wasn't going to purchase any but her uh, PO box is closed right now so I'm unable to give this to her as of right now so it'll just have to hang tight she's moving so I'm excited for her um, but these will come when she gets another PO box um, the reason I got polychromos pencils is because I was watching Lacquery, Lacquery Fine Art. Uh, she's a YouTuber and she does lots of tutorials and she's phenomenal. She really knows her stuff. She's an art teacher and I watched one of her videos comparing Prismacolor pencil crayons to polychromos. And in the end, I decided I'm going to go with um, polychromos. So I've been slowly building out my collection. The store that I go to to buy these 
To buy a set, like a pre-box set, is actually a lot more expensive than buying them individually. Individually, um, if you were to times every single pencil by how much each one is, it's actually $80 less than the package. So <laughs> I've been slowly collecting them, um, getting a few pencils here and there as I need them, kind of like Copics. I turned off a color chart from the Faber-Castell website and I'm slowly coloring in each one as I get them. So as you can see, I have a lot of these ones. Well, purples is my favorite color, so of course I'd go for purples first <laughs> and the blues and such. Um, I still have some in here that I need to get, but all in good time. And I have these ones that I need to fill in here and then determine which ones I'm giving to Bailey. And uh, yeah, you can get this from the Polychromos website and you just print it off. My suggestion to you guys, when you print it off, print it off onto your paper you use regularly for your pencil crayons because then it'll accurately show the color um, on your paper. Because depending if you use like an ivory or some type of color paper that's different than say printer paper which I used but my printer can't do thicker paper it's just it's finicky that way I'm due for a new printer but um, in the meantime it's actually broken <laughs> go figure so but when I was able to print this off I printed it off on regular printer paper because I didn't really care so yeah so here's my chart I have a few more to fill in here which I'm excited it's really fun to do um, yeah um, one of the reasons that I decided to go for the Polychromos versus uh, Prismacolor pencil crayons is due to the fact that with my art, um, I like a lot of detail. I like very fine, super detail. And with Prismacolors, you can't actually get super high detail due to the fact that you, your leads break at the very end quite a bit. These ones are kind of like an oil based, um, so they actually hold their lead better. They're a lot better quality, you got a bigger bang for your buck, and they are phenomenal. I've used them in some of my drawings, and I really like them. So, what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to put a little pop-up card somewhere up here um, to link you to Lacquery's um, comparison of Prismacolors versus Polychromos. So maybe you guys can make a decision for yourself if that's something that you're leaning towards. Okay. On to the next. Sorry if it's super noisy. Alright, so I also picked up some, um, I'll do those in a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to do this video all in one cut instead of uh, editing it. Um, I got a kneaded eraser. So like I said before, is I would like to do a giveaway. Um, this is going to be one of the giveaway items is a kneaded eraser. Something that I really like about kneaded erasers is the fact that it doesn't leave those little rubbery pieces on your art. It actually lifts the graphite or um, depending on what medium you're using. I usually just use it for graphite. Um, it lifts the graphite and keeps it in the eraser, which is really nice. And then uh, if you have the little chunks of eraser, you don't go like this to wipe it off and then ruin your drawing. So I really like this. So that's going to be something for the giveaway. Put it over there for now. Um, that being said, I did pick up one of just your traditional regular erasers, but these erasers are amazing. I love them to bits and pieces because when you use pencil, it gets rid of all your pencil unless you're really etching into the paper. Um, it won't pull it all off because it's in the fiber of the paper, but this stuff is like really good. I love this type of eraser. So I'll throw that there. That's going to be for a giveaway as well. Um, I also picked up one of these erasers. Tough stuff eraser stick. So it's kind of like a mechanical pencil. You push it to feed the eraser. And then you can erase with it. So I picked up one of those. I use that quite a bit too when I'm drawing. Um, with that, you're also going to need some refills. So tough stuff eraser stick refills. Woot woot. So that would go with your um, eraser stick. Um, I also picked up some lead. Um, this one was mainly going to be for me, but I'm thinking about picking up a mechanical pencil as well, potentially, uh, to do for a giveaway. This is a 
a 2B 0.5 millimeter um, pencil. So that's also potentially going to be a gift for the giveaway. I also have a jelly roll pen. Um, I love this pen. This pen is great. It's by Signo and it works really well. I use it all the time. In fact, I used it on this guy for the outside edge. How cute. I've been really inspired to do uh, drawings of these little guys of Disney characters and you'll be seeing more videos of um, these types of drawings because they're quick, they're fun, and they're easy. So um, be on the lookout for more videos of those. Um, I also will show you one I just finished recently, uh, one of Stitch, and this is actually a little gift for someone. So yeah, I'm sure she'll like it. But yeah, um, as well as something else for the giveaway is I bought these a long time ago and I've been slowly trying to accrue a few more here and there. Um, but with trying to get my set bigger, it's a little bit harder to buy <laughs> for for a giveaway because I would like to get more my collection bigger. But um, I got some cool grays. I have a colorless blender. I have the C2, C4, C6, C8, and C10. And I also have a black. Um one of the reasons I'm giving away grays is because when I first got Copic markers I was trying to decide if I wanted Prismacolor or if I wanted um, Copics so in deciding that I decided to go with Copics and Copics are really known and they're a great brand you can use refills for them and um, instead of just throwing out the markers which is Prisma does um, it's been quite a few years since I've had Prismas, but here's their barrel, or their marker. Uh, it's a round barrel. I prefer the oblong, or whatever shape you call this. I can't think of it right now. Um, but I prefer these because they're refillable, and the way the caps come off is a lot easier. You turn, you twist, they pop off. This one you kind of have to fight with it. Not to mention I like their brush nibs compared to their fine tip and then their ugh, um, broad tip. So in the end I went with Copics. So excuse me and another reason that I'm going with the Copics is trying to decide what markers I wanted. Um, I made a bunch of black and white drawings and so I decided Copics were for me um, but you can also make really nice drawings with black and white markers. The, the possibilities are endless. You just draw with them. And then, um, as you guys create more stuff, then maybe you can expand on your collection to get more markers in the end. So, these markers will be also for the giveaway. Um, yeah, uh, I also have one more thing. Um, is a Stedler pigment liner, um, a 0 0.05, no, actually no, not those 0 0.05, sorry, I bought this for me, <laughs> the 0 0.3, um, will be for one lucky winner, so I will add that to the pile, but yes, so... I would like to add more stuff to this. If you guys have ideas on what you would like to see or what you would like, um, let me know in the comments below. I was also thinking of maybe getting some pencil extenders. Um, these are great because they're like mechanical pencils. I probably already said this earlier, but I really like these. So I think I might try and add some. We'll see what happens by the time I get to 500 subscribers. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of it for now for the giveaway. Let's just push this stuff off to the side. Um, but I did buy myself some more markers. I had a commission recently, and um, what I do with my commission money or any money that I make with my art, I put it right back into my art. So that being said, I went out and I bought a bunch of markers. And now... 
I actually went in two different, um, I guess, <laughs> what am I trying to say here? I went in two different times. So like within the span of a week, I went twice. Um, so I got a whole bunch of more markers. Yay! Um, these are quite a few markers, but at the same time, did I get two of the same color? No, I did not. They're just two off. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, but yeah, so I got a bunch more markers and I'm very excited. I have uh, my charts for the Copic markers. Um, so this one, I've already filled them in uh, for the markers that I bought. Um, but for this chart, you can get off the Copic website. Uh, you just print it off and then you start filling it in. My recommendation for you guys and gals is to print it off on the paper that you're working on with Copic markers. Because if you just print it off on printer paper, it won't necessarily reflect the true colors that you will get on the paper that you regularly use. So this one I got off of um, the Copic's website. So you can just print it off at your leisure. This one um, I got off mine. Um, Bailey J found it um, online or somebody recommended it to her and then she purchased it and then she let us know and so I purchased it and uh, it's really good I really like this layout um, it's good to the fact that you can actually see similar colors around one another instead of just like this chart where it's very random for the colors like if you think about it it goes from like BG01 all the way to BG99 now you would think it would go from lightest to darkest but it does not and it also changes shades depending on where it is on the chart so if we look at well I guess we could just look in these two columns lightest to darkest not necessarily we got a two dark colors here a dark color there dark color there and then of course up here is going to be the lightest colors but still it just doesn't reflect so this chart is really good uh, for similar colors in the ranges so yeah as we can see here this looks like a lot of markers that I just recently purchased but compared to this not a lot <laughs> so but I'm excited I'm slowly but surely building up my collection Woo! gotta catch them all <laughs> Alrighty then. So this was my art supplies haul. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment box below. Um, give me a thumbs up if you would like to see more of these videos. Uh, but in the meantime, hit that subscribe button. I'll be uploading more videos hopefully soon here. I just need to edit them. I've been drawing so much I haven't really had time to edit any videos. So editing is the least favorite part of the job of drawing. So, But I will get my button gear and start editing them uh, as soon as I finish uploading this video. So anyways guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.